Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. Last time on Squeeze the Day, we were spending some time on the beach enjoying the waves, wind, and wildlife. This time, join us as we go to a different beach, Goose Island State Park. We are coming in from Corpus Christi, which takes us over this bridge. Goose Island State Park is one of the parks included in the Texas State Park system that we paid the $70 to get into. Let's just say I'm glad I'm not towing the RV right now because it would not fit. This was almost our RV camping site. This was originally going to be our spot for the night. Water, electric, spacious area. It's quite nice. This is a $20 site. For $22, we were able to upgrade. I don't know, it's just something about being in nature. They do have trails here. The plan is to get back to Florida within the next 10 days. We love taking advantage of that Texas State Park Pass. We definitely use that $70 worth of it. We're going to miss you, Texas. Doesn't look like much, but I am curious. I think it might be fun. Of course, while we're at this state park, we're going to take some time to explore it and see what's available. We are seeing two things right here. This is the first one. Second one, picnic area. Looks like a standard observation deck. In fact, that is an observation deck put here so that bird watchers can come and enjoy the area. It's a really nice one too, very well put together and sturdy. So you can stand there and observe. And this is the picnic area. There's a lot of different benches that are available. Some of the newer ones look like that. But the one that I'm interested in looking at is way out here. Let me speed up for just a second so that we can get to that. Check this out. This is a good spot. We've got a grill here available for you, picnic tables, and there's two of them right here on the water. Recreational hall. Restrooms. Men and women. The recreation hall and restrooms that were attached to it were right by the picnic area and observation area. But right now, we're on our way to see something bigger than that. So keep up with us as we check out the big tree. Now this thing is awesome, so stay tuned. Right now, we're looking at a place that has five people in it. Look at how these trees are. And this isn't even the big tree. That's the big tree. This tree is just screaming, I want children climbing on me. Especially that arm. Did I say children? I think maybe I meant I should be climbing up this tree. And of course, Cindy had to go and find her own tree to climb. That is the big tree. Cindy and I both agree this would be a great area to visit and play at because of the size of these trees and how much fun they are. The big tree has been growing here for nearly a thousand years. The sign also totals that all the trees that are in the area are children of the big tree. Now let's take a moment to appreciate the wildlife, like this bunny, and some birds. We hope you enjoyed that. And now back to the park. This park is great. If you hadn't noticed already, there are RVers, campers, and van lifers. All of them are attracted to this park because of its beauty and proximity to the water, which we were definitely enjoying, as you can see. Just make sure you're following the rules.
That bridge in the distance is the one that we crossed to get over to this island. That is what our camping site looks like. We hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so you can continue to follow us on our next adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well. Make sure you follow us on our next adventure as we continue to explore, catch a little bit of a ride, make a new friend, enjoy the last little bits of Texas before we head back to Florida.